From youngsters to seniors, Disney World has always been termed as the most happening and magical theme park in the world. But what Disney World is experiencing right now is something that was never expected. Its rides remain almost empty, and the place seems dramatically different. Is it because of too high costs that have hit after inflation that's causing less crowds to visit Disney World? Keep watching to know more. According to multiple sources, Disney theme parks are alarmingly empty this summer, and there are a number of factors that are contributing to the business's continuous decline. Many families no longer have the resources to visit Disney's world-famous theme parks, which results in additional financial losses for this theme park. Ticket costs are at record highs, and this year, Americans' purchasing power has taken another hit. According to a Touring Plans attendance survey, this summer is witnessing shockingly low crowds at Disney's main theme park in Orlando, Florida. According to analysts, Attendance over the long holiday weekend of July 4th looked more like September crowds and was at its lowest point in almost a decade. Despite the fact that the holiday is often one of Disney World's busiest times, this is taking place. The Magic Kingdom at Disney World, dubbed by the Orlando Tourism Board as the world's most famous theme park, had an average wait time of 27 minutes over the 4th of July weekend, according to data from the Disney Park mobile app, which tracks daily attendance by ride wait times. In comparison to the 47 minutes before the pandemic, this was a significant change. Disney World's Animal Kingdom had Independence Day wait times of just 25 minutes, which is about 10 minutes less than the 34-minute wait periods experienced the year before. The park's Hollywood Studios, though, had the biggest decrease, with an average July 4th wait time of just 18 minutes. According to the tourist agency, this was a substantial improvement from 2022 levels, when park wait times averaged 44 minutes. The 4th of July holiday was, overall, Disney World's third slowest day in the previous 12 months. The declining traffic is undoubtedly terrible news for the media and entertainment conglomerate, which is now engaged in a $5.5 billion cost-cutting drive that has so far this year led to almost 7,000 layoffs across its divisions, including sports cable powerhouse ESPN. Despite the fact that Walt Disney World has been a popular destination for American families of all stripes for nearly 50 years, and that Disney is frequently regarded as the ideal family vacation, exorbitant ticket price increases are a significant contributor to the continued slowdown. Additionally, Disney CEO Bob Iger increased the cost of some rides while requiring tickets for previously free attractions. According to the journal, many park visitors have been loudly complaining about Disney raising admission prices and eliminating free amenities. Disney executives have stated that they anticipate their American theme park's revenue to be lower this year. The resort in the Orlando area is even providing accommodation discounts during the traditionally busy holiday season. Travel experts and business analysts claim that the slowdown is the most recent indication that some families have lost interest in visiting the most magical place on Earth as a result of Disney's recent price increases and changes to park operations. Consumers are delaying spending money on pricey family trips, like going to theme parks, now that a recession is approaching and American saving rates are falling. According to Federal Reserve Research, American households have already spent down all of their extra savings from the epidemic era. Since its founding, the global entertainment powerhouse has not faced a crisis of this magnitude. And the weakening economy will only make problems worse. Disney's future remains uncertain, and with so many increasing financial losses, we can only hope that its upcoming production can turn things around. Walt Disney World saw its most recent operating income dip in the June quarter of 2022, 
Domestic parks and experiences saw profits fall 13% to $1.4 billion, and revenue fell 4% to $5.6 billion. But Disneyland profit was up modestly, the company said in its latest earnings report. The company cited its higher costs due to inflation and the planned closure of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, as well as a dip in attendance at Walt Disney World. At Disneyland, higher attendance and guest spending via higher ticket prices were offset by increased costs driven by inflation. Fortunately, foreign parks picked up some of the slack. Leading internationally were Shanghai and Hong Kong, with the former open for the full three months, as opposed to just three days in the prior year quarter due to COVID, which persisted for a lot longer in China. Spending increases and increased attendance at Hong Kong Disneyland were somewhat offset by rising costs, according to Disney. This year, the park was open for 72 days as opposed to 54 days in 2022. International parks turned around from a $64 million loss to an operating profit of $428 million as a consequence of a 94% increase in revenue to $1.5 billion. Revenues for total parks, experiences, and products which included consumer goods and cruise lines, increased by 13% to $8.3 billion and profits by 11% to $2.4 billion during this quarter. The company anticipates that demand will continue to moderate at domestic parks in the fourth quarter of the current fiscal year, according to interim CFO Kevin Lansbury. After COVID lockdowns, a surge of visitors who wanted to visit the parks began to wane. It's also difficult to compare attendance from Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration last year. Inflation is hurting both Disney's finances and those of its customers. Disney is currently dealing with a distinct set of difficulties, including streaming revenue losses, executive succession, and the legal and political battle with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The corporation has always relied on revenue from its parks division to boost overall earnings. Regarding recent attendance, Disney refuses to comment. Data from Touring Plans, a business that monitors wait times at major amusement parks, including Disney World and Disneyland in California. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Do not forget to click like, share, and subscribe if you like the content. Comment below on why you think Disney World seems alarmingly empty these days. And let us know your suggestions as well. Until next time, see you again with a new video.